two, three. What happens after physiotherapy? Well, physiotherapy can be a long, hard road. It takes willpower and endurance to keep at it. The mere act of keeping appointments can be a grueling at times. One may feel like celebrating when it's all over. But what comes after physiotherapy? A physiotherapist will leave you with words of advice to follow after your physiology is over. One important thing to keep in mind is that any exercises you're doing should be remembered for any relapses. For example, if you have a problem with a vertebrae in your neck, physical therapy can often help. After physiotherapy, though, the neck might start getting stiff and painful again. Remembering and doing the physical therapy exercises may stop the condition from getting any worse and may in fact alleviate it completely. You will also be instructed on the proper use of heat packs and ice packs. Tell me about it. <laughs> it will be a refresher course for you but you will be on your own. So you need to pay attention. You will be told to go to the doctor at the first sign of relapse after physiotherapy. Prevention will be an important concern after physiotherapy. When I say important, very important. The last thing you need is to have to go through the process again. You can take certain steps to avoid physical injuries that will require you to go back. Aerobotic or aero I can't even pronounce it, so you know what I'm saying. Aerobic exercise is very beneficial both during and after physiotherapy. It strengthens the muscles, increases oxygen to the muscles and helps you lose weight. Aerobic exercises you can do include walking, running, swimming or bicycling. Or bicycling. That's two words I got tripped up on today. Any, any exercise that gets you breathing heavily and your heart rate will do. So the idea is get get your heart rate up. In injuries like low back pain, weight loss can be a factor. It can mean less stress on your bones and muscles. Therefore, diet can play an important role in prevention after physiotherapy. It does not have to be an elaborate diet, just a simple diet that limits foods especially the carbohydrates and fats. Other preventative features of life after physiotherapy involve the workplace. One needs to learn the proper movements to get the job done. If it seems that it's impossible, it is a legal right to call for an emergency or economic study. Is it? Another thing to consider is to make sure you use all the e e ergonomic equipment that's already available in your office or workplace. There may be keyboards in the storage room if, if you'd only ask. Or oh, ergonomic keyboards is what I meant to say. One also needs to learn one's limitations. No more trying to lift a 200 pound object by yourself. After physiotherapy, one knows what can happen when one does not take care of one's body properly. It only makes sense to stay away from anything that can harm you in the way you were hurt before. Life after physiotherapy may be a more cautious affair than it was before. One may have to think before acting. No matter what one does, it is possible that a return to physiotherapy will take place. The best thing to do is to do your best to make all the right moves after physiotherapy. Once again, thanks for watching our video and please note the videos are only a guide and should not replace any medical advice. If you are unsure about your health, always consult a Levy authorised practitioner or in the UK a doctor. Thanks again.
Thank you for watching one of our videos. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you would like to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment. Thank you once again. From your NBC team. Hashtag NBC Media.